These are the prayer notes that President Donald Trump reads every day. Abigail Robertson, CBN News, reports on Charisma News. The Bible calls for people to pray for our leaders, for our countries, and even for our enemies. So one congressman went to the people of his district, and he made that happen. It was meant to be a positive gesture, but not everyone on the Internet saw it that way. Congressman Mike Boast, Republican from Illinois, didn't like what he was seeing in our country at the beginning of 2017. Protests happening everywhere. Many well-known people made it clear they did not support new, the new administration. So his wife had an idea. He said that they should collect thoughts and prayers from people around them to encourage President Donald Trump. Quote, we thought maybe we'd get 30, whatever, and quote, Representative both told CBN News, quote, it came back, there were hundreds, end quote. People from age of five to almost 100 wanted to write to President Trump in order to encourage him with their messages. And before they sent them off to the White House, the boasts read through all of them in order to make sure that they were only positive and uplifting messages that made it through to Trump and the White House. Quote, there was a 90-year-old woman that on it said, I have never written to a president, but I'm depending on you, and I pray into you every day that you'll strengthen this country out. You'll straighten it out. It needs to be straightened out so bad, end quote. So Post had the letters delivered to the White House and had no idea if they'd be read or not. A few months later, though, he was invited to the White House with about 20 other congressmen to see the president sign a bill into new, uh, into new law. While he was in the Oval Office, while he was there, Trump wondered aloud why Representative Bill's name sounded so familiar. Quote, all of a sudden, turns at me and goes, boast, boast your prayer cards, end quote. Both said, quote, and I said, wow, yeah, we sent you some prayer cards over. End quote. White House aide then pulled a bag of prayer cards off the shelf in the Oval Office and brought them over. Both said, he said, you know, we use these every day. And I said, what? And he said, yeah, that's why they're here. We use them every day. That's what Trump explained to Boast. And it wasn't only the president reading them. Quote, Boast says, quote, I turned and honest to goodness, I turned and hit chest to chest with the vice president. And he goes, Mike, he's not joking. We read these every day, and they're so wonderful, said Boast. Months after that meeting, Boast received a, a photo of him with the president holding the prayer cards, which his office decided to post on social media, and it went up in three days after Florida shooting had uh, taken the lives of 17 children, that the timing caused a great deal of internet backlash. Quote, there was an atheist group that got on social media and said, here we have this shooting at the school, and you're going to do this through prayers and thoughts. And it got real negative from then on. Many people writing about the school tragedy wrongfully assume the picture was taken the same day. Of course, it was not. This is on Charisma News.